Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm back again with a new video for you all. Water from the Colorado River is used by the southwestern United States and the northwest corner of Mexico. Lake Powell and Lake Mead are expected to decrease in size from their peak levels of 95% full in 2000 to 25% full in 2022, continuing a pattern of decline that has exacerbated the basin-wide water supply problem for 22 years. Since April of 1937, Lake Mead has been gradually filling. Drought is caused by insufficient water supply across 74% of the western United States. A third of the region is experiencing drought. The snowpack and drought-stricken Colorado was below normal last winter. The river source is in Colorado. It is clear from a comparison of satellite images taken in 2000 and 2022 that the level of Lake Mead along the Virgin River has dropped significantly. Approximately 40 million people, including those in San Diego, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Los Angeles, and four others, rely on the electricity and water supplied by the Colorado River Basin, which is managed by the Bureau of Reclamation and other agencies. This includes Lake Mead, Glen Canyon, the Grand Canyon, and Lake Powell. Two-sevenths or 27% of Lake Powell and 35% of Lake Mead are at or below their respective minimum storage levels, 1,040.92 feet above sea level. The depth is 178 feet. Lake Mead has dropped below the 1,045-foot mark, indicating a level 2 water shortage. If the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation is correct and the lake level drops below 1,045 feet in January 2023, there will be a deficit. The amount of water drawn from the Colorado River by cities, farms, and factories will be reduced as a result of the third layer of water restrictions. Today, the reservoir is 25 feet lower than its normal level of 1,159 feet. The maximum level of Lake Mead was recorded in 1983. The water level in Lake Mead has dropped to 1,040.58 feet. The elevation was 27 feet higher a year ago at this time, 2020. The height has decreased by 44 feet. The water level in Lake Mead is currently at 24.9% of capacity, which is 32 feet lower than it was on the same date in 2016, dropping from 28.2 million to 7.018 acre-feet, the country's largest reservoir is now at its lowest level ever recorded. It can hold 18.8 million acre-feet of water. This water here will begin on October 1, 2021. Lake Mead reached 1,068 feet on October 17 and again on December 2. The reservoir level reached 1,067.68 feet thanks to winter precipitation. On January 25th, the reservoir was filled due to the early winter rainfall. The current water level has dropped to 1,040.92 feet, which is lower than it was before. Lake Powell's level was kept the same this year. Flaming Gorge Reservoir will release 500 million cubic feet to maintain Lake Powell. The level of Lake Mead can be helped by reducing the amount of water that flows from Lake Powell. Despite the erosion of Lake Mead, efforts are being made to protect Lake Powell. Low water levels in Lake Powell impacted the efficiency of hydroelectric plants. Glen Canyon Dam can remain operational all year if Lake Powell is adequately supplied with water. There could be a variety of reasons for Lake Mead's low water level. The drought response is affected by the water level in Lake Mead. The Bureau of Reclamation releases a report on the drawdown of the Colorado River in August. August weather, under 1,025 feet. In the event of a declared level 3 water crisis, states are obligated to release additional water from the Colorado River. Dropping the water level in Lake Mead helps lessen the amount of precipitation that flows into the lake. If this is the case, the drought plan must take into account not just Lake Mead, but the whole Colorado River. Recent studies have shown that if Lake Mead and Powell's total storage capacity were to decrease, both mandatory and voluntary water usage reductions would be necessary. Not to be forgotten are Blue Mesa and Flaming Gorge. The authors argue that the current method of water management poses a risk to the system if 21st century hydrological trends continue. If the upper basin lowered water demand to 4 million acre-feet per year, slightly above its average since 2000, the reservoirs might be sustained. States in the upper basin are Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, and New Mexico. The system would stabilize if the lower basin agreed to a 2 million acre-foot annual drop. Lower basin in Mexico, which utilizes two-thirds of Colorado River water, would have to reduce its use, while Upper Basin expects to develop 
5.4 million acre feet of water annually by 2060. Beyond dams and reservoirs, more management of the Colorado River is required. Colorado River management is essential. The water level in Lake Mead shouldn't be lowered by reducing supply to other areas. The systematic context of these choices is required. Congress must quickly enact new solutions. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked today's video and found it informative. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn your notifications on to comment about what kind of videos you would like to see next. I'll see you all in the next one. Be safe and adios!